Welcome to this tutorial on Ecotech analysis on weather files and microclimate. As mentioned in a previous video, it's an important factor for doing passive simulations with inside the Ecotech environment to have correct and validated climate data for your specific site and microclimate. So to get validated climate data, there's multiple approaches that we can use for converting weather data into Ecotech. If we go to the globus here, we can access and load a weather file. And the weather file is coming into Ecotech to the weather data file format, .vea. One of the most commonly used methods of converting climate data or weather files into Ecotech is using the EPW file format the energy plus weather file format. We can get <coughs> weather data from multiple places. We can click on the globus and we can go find weather data and browse to the US Department of Energy. But it's important to say that especially for Europe there is these data are not correct and there's for example only one weather file for the whole of Denmark. So, I will in this video I'm going to present another solution that I'm using to uh, get w validated climate data. I'm going to use what is called the metronome, which is a German product that can generate uh, weather data to almost any kind of format, as well as the EPW file format. And then I'm going to use to the weather tool manager and I can access this by converting weather data f here. Just to mention, there is one other possibility. If you have a Green Building Studio account, you can access um, the weather data for the specific site from a CSV file, a comma-separated file, or a binary file, DO2. But to import and convert these data into Ecotech is a bit more complex and you might need a spreadsheet. <coughs> so in this method I'm going to use the metronome to generate high quality weather data for the specific microclimate. And I just opened the metronome here and I'm starting out clicking continue to select the specific site. I'm going to the map here and I zoom in to the location in the world I'm looking for in this case here I'm looking for for Lund in Sweden and I can then go in and click on what kind of weather station I want to see and I can then use this little information icon to select and see the different weather stations here in this case Lund and I get the longitude, latitude, altitude and type of site. And I click OK. And I can then just click continue and just choose default arrow for the different and I'm going to use the Paris radiation model and I'm going to select the most uh, recent uh, time period. And I'm going to click continue and I'm choosing here that I want to have the output in Energy Plus EPW format and I need to calculate the horizon so I'm clicking the horizon and I'm clicking calculate horizon <coughs> and OK and then continue and now the software will calculate and create the climate da data for the specific site and I can just look through it and for what I know of Sweden this will be appropriate and now I can save it out and I'm going to save it in my on my desktop here in weather files here and call this null here and say save, yes. The next thing I have to do to c 
convert this EPW file into the WEA file used by Ecotech is going to the tool menu and select convert weather data and now it's open up my this is a bit different from the actual weather tool where you also have the psychometric chart the little thing that you need to know is that you if you just using the weather tool and you want to manually set in rainfall from your local um, weather website you can't you're not allowed to do that within the weather tool so you have to s use this weather ma manager to to uh, help you set up the rainfall input I'm going to the file menu I'm clicking open and you will see that you can here you can import weather data fixed format weather files separated value files energy plus files EPW line of road data files and I'm selecting the energy plus plus weather file clicking Lund hour and saying OK and then I need to make sure that I have the same structure as in the left side here in the right side and then I can add or delete things that but by default importing an EPW file it will ignore fields that are not used so I'm just clicking import file and it will now load all the climate data that I'll need there is just about rainfall here it's not too effective um, because the scale I don't know really what the problem but the scale isn't correct so I'm just gonna open my EPW file again click OK and I go to the rainfall here and just delete this and I'm clicking import file and now I have all the data that I want <coughs> now to update my rainfall I go to the monthly data and I go to my local website of astronomy and I'm just typing in these days here so that will be for January 62 February 41 so I just skipped a bit of the manual work here and now I updated my weather file and I can save it out save as and save it as the new Lund file here yes I want to to do that and now I can go in here and I can open the weather tool <coughs> and there are multiple functionality with inside the weather tool here that I can use to do pre-analysis <coughs> when you have done this and you loaded the weather file into Ecotect here it will update all the data for the program that you will need to perform your analysis and if you turn on the daily sun path and annual sun path you will be able to see here with blue the coldest month of the year and in red the hottest month of the year and this will allow you to examine the most exposed or hottest or the solar position on the hottest month of the year <coughs> thank you